Just some thoughts for the spiritual community. So I came into this thing backwards. My story is what would one be able to prove to himself if they deprogrammed themselves, started from scratch, if you will. So I didn't come to this realization through any belief systems. So I don't identify with any groups or political parties, blah, blah, blah. And I've used my power of observation, which we all have, to come to these realizations and continue observing outside and inside until I awoke in this matrix, if you will. And when I'm talking about awakening, it's like awakening in a dream. I'm sure you've heard the fairy tale or nursery rhyme. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily, blah, blah, blah. Life is but a dream. So waking up in that dream. In other words, that's realizing your spiritual being having a human experience and having more of your consciousness or realizing that your consciousness, non-local consciousness, experience and physicality and living more on that side and realizing that truth and having that experience. And words don't do it justice. It's something you have to experience. I'm just showing you that it's possible. Coming to this realization, I've seen and heard a lot of beliefs, even in the spiritual community, about this, that, and the other. And I'm just using my scientific observation to come to my conclusions. And in my conclusions, this world, wherever we come from, wherever we are, non-locally, we're here in this world physically. So I don't see the intent of this experience to not be where we are. We're here for a reason, whether we realize that or not. The idea of trying to go somewhere else or get away from where we are or not see what's going on in front of us is counterintuitive to our experience. I think our experience, our intent, our purpose, our mission is to face what we're seeing head on. And if we see a different perspective, then it's our job to call out that perspective and act on that perspective versus try to separate ourselves from negative situations. There's a lot of momentum that's got us into the situation, obviously. So there's things that we have to slowly change and slowly stop. So it's not an overnight thing. But I don't think the intent is to leave this place or leave this reality or start a new one or adjacent one. I think the intent is to face this head on, to be the light that goes into the dark places and illuminate that and to change what we see because we can see it clearly. That's the role that I'm taking, not to try to leave the situation, but to address the situation head on. And yeah, it's uncomfortable and yeah, it's confrontational and yeah, it puts a target on you for people that don't see that stuff. But the people that we tend to look up to are ones that take action, not ones that have just meditated or prayed. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that, but the people that make change in this world take action in this world because that's what really programs this matrix. So, all right, y'all. Peace.